Parents in Travis County could have a say in the COVID-19 vaccine rollout for children ages 5 to 11. This all comes as the Pfizer vaccine is expected to be approved by for that age group in the next several weeks. KXAN's Jennifer Sanders spent the day looking at local plans. So Jen, what did you find out? So I reached out to several districts and they said that they are waiting for federal guidance until they really release those plans. But I did find out this week, Austin Public Health sent out a message to schools asking parents to take a voluntary survey about the vaccine rollout for this age group. And the goal is to really figure out how much of a need there is. Evenings at the park are happening a little more often for Jane Pena and her family as COVID cases decline. The mom of children ages 5 to 11 is anticipating the vaccine rollout for her family. We're ready to get back to our co-ops and our playdates and all of the social functions we were before, but feeling much safer while we do so. The story is a little different for a mom I spoke to who wanted to remain anonymous. While her two older children are vaccinated, her younger child is immune compromised. She's chosen not to get that child vaccinated. That's a really scary place to be when you're in the middle there and, and have valid reasons for, for, for not doing the vaccine. It could, it could do more harm than good for us. So. I just kind of ask that people be more patient. That's why Austin Public Health is working with local schools and other partners to get a sense of the demand for the vaccine for younger children. The department is sending out surveys to find out if parents have concerns and where they would like their children to receive the vaccine. We did provide our families a survey um, this week from Austin Public Health. Christopher Weddle of Del Valley ISD says the district has more than 4,000 students who would be eligible if the vaccine is approved. Right now, the district is making plans to expand clinics to elementary and middle schools. We are also actively preparing consent forms that will be able to go out by the end of the month. So we'll be able to start collecting those and have them ready to, to move as soon as um, they're approved. And now this is just one district's plan. We also heard from back from Lago Vista, which says the district has no immediate plans to host clinics, but will provide resources to any parents who need them. KXAN has also reached out to Williamson County to see how schools there will allocate the vaccine. For that information, just visit this story at KXAN.com.